<laughs> a bunch of toxic idiots. I can't believe so. What the, what these people believe to be true is just beyond belief. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm a hippie. By hippie standards, I'm pretty neat, actually. You know, especially if I've got somebody helping me. There's this place has a lot of resources to come and go from it. Excuse me. Um. <laughs> And, and like Jenny Boylan, I'm through. I'm through arguing my my humanity with hateful people, misinformed hateful people. I'm an intersex. My genitals were fiddled when I was little, and that's the way it is. Deal with it. I am, and people accept me for what I am. And if you can't, shut the fuck up where I can see it. Every time I see it, I'm gonna shoot it down. Eventually, you're all going to face smash right onto the wrong side of history. That's all I got to say there. Because I'm busy. <laughs> um, should I give you the screen? Let's give, let's give you my screen. Um, because, you know, I don't want to give them my faces. You know, they're, they're, they're calling, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm a brilliant performance artist. That that uh, you know mugs. I'm mugging, <laughs> and and they're they're gonna call me a retard and insane and all this other stupid drooling drooling old old man. And <laughs> I'm just mugging. <laughs> yeah, fuck them. They stand the fucking anonymous chicken shit anonymous uh, internet connection they walked in on. First thing I got to do is uh, book. I got to find out the information on court site. I got to get that. Roll and find out what we need. I, I need. I, I'm going to need to crowdsource a bunch of shit. I'm going to. I'm going to go over to Patreon and lay it out. Well, we, you know, lay out our calendar. You know, give them a calendar. I, you know, we started. We started the calendar file the other day. That was our first collaborative office document. Was the calendar, and now I'm working on the complaint word document. So like this is the last thing I gotta say to any of these people. This is just you know waste of time. It's already been almost eleven o'clock in the morning. So I gotta get out of there because there's very few, you know, if, uh, if there are ten people talking, there's only one or two that are like saying anything that's worth replying to. Most of them you need to scroll right past. Uh, and it's like I'm out of here. <laughs> well, let's let's see what's in the let's see what's what's cooking. Show you what. So you know, I mean, like what's going on. Okay, I don't even want to look at his shit, his shit, none of that shit. Lisa should be good for a few laps later when I got some time to look at it. I don't even want to see this shit right now. I need to deal with quartzite.
Uh-oh, missed calls. I missed call. I said, what the fuck was that? That's just a few minutes ago. I don't know how I'm not hearing calls. Your burner phone. <laughs> the other thing I need to do today is get the free burner phone. Q Link Wireless. <laughs> the free burner phone. <laughs> you get federal benefits, you get a free burner phone. And then the funny says, call me six minutes ago, and now they're not picking up the phone. Local. Let's, let's get our port site. Well, are you guys not going to answer either? The fuck? Well, you yeah. hang up and type them off. I will be out of my office until September 11th. At that time, I will return any messages. Thank you. Hi, my, my name's Tommy. I'm calling from Tucson. 520-241-2776. Uh, I want to inquire about the gem show. Uh, what the dates are and the cost is, and we're looking for probably about a medium-sized space for a fifth wheel. Uh, and we're a lapidary crew. Uh, diggers too, diggers, diggers, and diggers and cutters, diggers, cutters, and rappers. It's a hippie, <laughs> it's a hippie crew. I want, we want to bring in there for this year. Uh, the number again: five two zero two four one two seven seven six. Thank you very much. I guess you just hang up to quit. Okay, let's check on the uh, tambourine. Let's get the Chamber of Commerce on the phone. Show dates 2018. I don't need the history. I've seen it before. I don't need to know all the directions on how to get there. I need to know this. But there's no links. That's just a list. Shit. So we want to find out the QIA power. Should be Expo Express QIA Arizona.org. That's who I want. Free mission 18 through the 22nd. That's good dates. Yes, that could work. That's just a weekend, isn't it? That's just if it's the middle of the week, it'd be even better. Yeah, it's it's Thursday through through Monday, but that's good because it doesn't the gem and, gem and jam is the next weekend here, uh, and then we get rolling into the show until until Valentine's Day. That'll that'll be good. I uh, will send that to Ariana.
Uh huh. Okay. Well, those three I need to check, but let's take care of what I need to send to Ari. We need to send her. Let's send her this thing. This is just hilarious. Oh, I tweeted it. Let's send her some tweets to to, to put on the wall. Um, this, this this slideshow is just hilarious about an altercation on an airplane. Airplane. Um, Where's my tweets? Okay, back to Twitter. See what's in the news that's worth sharing. Commenting on Bernie. Yeah, well, they should never be allowed. They break them up. They go local. Money, money, small, civil asset forfeiture. Hillary hates again. That's right, Equifax protect, fails to protect the data, and then they demand you give up equal rights if you want to limit the damage they cause. Trump EPA says it's insensitive to talk about climate change in Irma. What the fuck? God, just say, <laughs> put your heads back in the sand, people. <laughs> Let's read this. <laughs> Trump EPA head says it's insensitive to talk about climate change and Irma. Meanwhile, Pruitt dissolves the EPA team focused on preparing for sea level rise in future superstorms. They want everybody to die. <laughs> for Environmental Protection Agency Administrator Scott Pruitt, the right time to talk about the link between college climate change and hurricanes is never. In an interview with CNN on Hurricanes Irma and Harvey, Pruitt slammed scientists for discussing the cause and effect of the storm, saying that to use time and effort to address it at this point is very, very insensitive to the people in Florida. Well, hey, fuck that. <laughs> what about the people everywhere else? That statement flies in the face of a growing body of scientific evidence connecting climate change to more intense and destructive hurricanes. As we've written, if we can't talk about what's to come and what's driving it, then how can we plan for it? How can we rebuild wisely? Pruitt himself apparently never wants to address the issue. Indeed, Politico reported Friday that EPA's climate change adaptation staff will be dissolved. Specifically, this is the team formerly focused on preparing for sea level rise and extreme weather. In other words, Pruitt would like to end all talk about climate change during a superstorm 
and then ensure his agency doesn't discuss how our understanding of climate change and sea level rise might help communities prepare for the next extreme storm. But if we spend tens of billions of dollars trying to rebuild Houston without an understanding of sea level rise or the role of climate change in inducing extreme weather, then Houston will just keep getting inundated and we'll keep rebuilding it the wrong way. In an administration full of cabinet members and high-ranking appointees who reject the scientific consensus on con climate change, Pruitt may well be the foremost climate science denier. His anti-science views are so extreme that even Fox News felt compelled to debunk him on air. Last week, climate scientists explained how global warming, while not the cause of Superstorm Harvey, had worsened every aspect of it. This week, scientists have been explain, explaining how climate change helped juice Irma into one of the strongest super hurricanes on record, with the most sustained high-intensity winds the world has ever seen. And that thing's still cooking, I think. Um, it hadn't even hit Florida yet. Um, CNN itself talked to several climate scientists and reported their conclusion that the warming Gulf temperatures, which were up to 3.6 uh, degrees Fahrenheit warmer than normal, could be a pressure cooker for key ingredients of a hurricane, extreme winds, rainfall, and storm surge. Pruitt, however, told CNN that to have any kind of focus on the cause and effect of the storm versus helping people or actually facing the effect of the storm is misplaced. That's a bunch of shit, pal. <laughs> There's plenty of people helping the people and let the scientists do their job in trying to figure out how to uh, ameliorate the impact of impending climate change that you deny is going to happen. Last week, however, NASA's Gavin Schmidt labeled such efforts to attack scientists we're talking about the climate hurricane link during a superstorm, BS, and an effort to control the story and le delegitimize other voices. He pointed out that unless you're actually a first responder or work for FEMA, you have enough bandwidth to, to talk about climate science. Oh, I see. I see. He said bandwidth. Right. You know, this is internet chatter that they're 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 raging about. You know, media media bullshit. You know, he's the, the you know you want to let you want to be scientific about it. It's like you know, unless you're on the ground doing it, um, it's okay to talk about it, and we should be. What does Pruitt think the APA should be doing now? He told CNN, "What we need to focus on is access to clean water." Yeah, why you petrochemical industry pollutes it all. But in a Friday New York Times op-ed piece, How Not to Run the EPA, former George W. Bush EPA Administrator Christine Todd Whitman explained that Pruitt isn't even doing the job of protecting the nation's access to clean water. She slams Mr. Pruitt's swift and legal questionable re repeals of EPA regulations, actions that pose real and lasting threats to the nation's air, water, and public health. Bottom line. Trump's EPA administrator isn't doing his job of protecting the environment and public health and educating the public about the serious environmental threats facing Americans. So he has no business criticizing climate scientists who are trying to do their job. And I, uh, you know, this is my diary for the day. I don't know how long I'll let that fucking thing run. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Uh, and, 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 and all you see is me typing and shit. That's cool, too. Um... As a matter of fact, I'm going to get up and go and get something to eat.
my really yummy dinner last night. It's pretty good cold this morning. So back to what I was doing with um, Ariana. Okay, that's for my wall. We were looking at Twitter, the news. Um, so this is uh, that's something we wanted to post. Whoa. Just recent. The Norman Finkelstein got busted. When did he get busted? That's what you do with a picture. Oh, that's from the New York protests. Did he just get busted at the DACA protest? What the fuck? Oh, well, where's that's probably different different protest. I don't know. Norman Finkelstein is the author of. He's a he's a academic anti-Zionist. He's the son of uh, Holocaust survivors. Um, he's the author of uh, the Holocaust industry, which he accuses Israel of exploiting and the death of those people to. Uh, established the brutal apartheid occupation in Palestine. Well, I really need to not be taking my time out reading these now. And go off get the John Trudell stuff I wanted to get for her to spread around her her crowd. I've been spreading these for so a couple of years now. Since he died. I never really paid that much attention to him. I met him back in the eighties. He's just another another artist and you know on the scene. I mean yeah, I, you know, I listen to his stuff, but you know, it's 
I never really paid that close attention to him because I was doing other things. And then when he died, I started listening to his stuff. Watch out, child. Watch out, child. Babylon falling down. Falling down. Society of broken promise. Economies war, citizen hordes. Political pimps leaving us flat on our backs. Trading today, waiting for the promised land. First time, I'm glad to see you here, and I'm glad that I'm here. If I say anything that you don't agree with, let's just leave it at we don't agree about it. All right? There's no clear thought being exercised right now in the American public. They're allowing the insanity of the leaders, you know, to make decisions uh, that really are not in the best interest of the public. They're not in the best interest of the children of the public. They're not in the best interest of the grandchildren of the public. They're not in the best interest of the earth. They're not in the best interest of anyone. non-existent in the perceptual reality of the society that we're in. It's almost non-existent. And it affected the perceptual reality of the human. See, so I'm going to stop this right here, and um, say a few things before I let it play, because this is one of the most important things that um, we need to understand in this conflict, the current conflict between people of color and the white man. That's not, that's, that's the illusion. That's what they want us to think. The conflict is between industrialized uh, authoritarianism and indigenous egalitarianism. And this speech from John Trudell describes how the indigenous people were broken to the task of colonizing the rest of the world. So let's let this play. When Columbus and him got here, and we told them who we were, they didn't know. <laughs> we said, well, we're the people, we're the human beings. But they didn't know because it wasn't a part of their perceptional reality. <laughs> the concept was no longer a part of their perceptional reality. See, this is what happened to the tribes of Europe and the descendants of the tribes of Europe. And so I know that by the time Columbus got here, and I, I got a pretty good idea way before that, but, but by the time Columbus got here, the idea of a human being and people in that kind of a way was no longer a part of their perceptional reality. And, and, and we'll look at, but what did, what did Columbus come out of? See, when he got here, this hemisphere had no protection to this disease because it had never been here like that. <laughs> so there was no immune system to the disease as it moved. Because the disease came through the wind and the water, so it was airborne in a way and water carried, so it just took the shape of a man rather than something you can't see. But it arrived. All right, and this spirit that was being eaten, which made this diseased perception of reality. So by the time Columbus got here, all right, let's look about about eleven hundred AD or one thousand AD, the church made the decision that it was God's government. It was the authority of God on earth, so it was God's government. And at that time, the descendants of the tribes of Europe no longer remembered that they were that they come from tribes. This wasn't really a part of their conscious reality. 
because by 1000 AD, see, they had been owned by, <laughs> they've been owned for many, many, many generations by, by whoever claimed ownership of the land and started owning the land. And then they became, they became thieves and they became uh, serfs and they became peasants. So they really had no reality about being a part of the tribe anymore because they were just the property that was owned like whoever the landlord was or the royalty at any given time that owned that land or claimed that land, they belonged to that land like all of the other natural resources of the land. But they still prayed to spirits. See, they still, the women still had a, a, a stronger role yet from the old tribal way, and they still prayed to spirits. So the church, by 1000 A.D. or 1100 A.D., it decided that it was now going to mine this resource. I mean, save the souls of the heathen, see. So the church created the Inquisition, and basically the Inquisition was, number one, is it was to change the perceptual reality of the descendants of the tribes of Europe. Right? And so they were terrorized and brutalized for 500 years in order to do this. But, but the way the church rationalized this was they were going to save... They wanted to possess the souls of the heathens and the pagans. See, they wanted to possess their souls in the name of, of their Lord. All right, so this war was to about possessing the souls of the descendants of tribes of Europe. And in order to possess their souls, they had to alter their perceptual reality. So if you thought differently than the church wanted you to think, bingo, you were, you were killed. You were tortured and your property was taken. And if somebody accused you, basically you were guilty if you were accused. You know, and all incidentally, during the torturing process, you'd probably say somebody else's name, so now somebody else is going to kind of... So they killed as efficiently as they possibly could with the technology they had at hand at the time. And they did it for 500 years. By the time Columbus got here, it had been going on for 400 years. And by, so by the time Columbus got here, let's say 20 years to a generation, just for the lifespan during that time frame. All right? So by the time Columbus got here, the descendants of the tribes of Europe had been through 20 generations of having their spirit just completely attacked and the way this possessed thing kind of just seems to manifest itself so they became spiritually and physically now the possession of something else see then before that it was just physically now they had become spiritually the possession of someone else see? so they had no clarity about reality so by the time Columbus got here See, they didn't know what it meant to be a human being anymore. It was just not a part of their spiritual, perceptional relationship to reality. They were possessed, they were owned, they were property. You know, and, and one of the other things about this that kind of evolved out of that, I think it evolved out of that, was anyway, when the church was doing all of this to get the descendants of the tribes of Europe, all right, they, they finally figured out, well, hold it, if I want to stay alive and be a descendant of anything, I'm going to have to accept these people. <laughs> So they embraced the church because they had to embrace what they feared. So they had to love what they feared in order to survive. And what they had to love, the thing that they had to love that they feared was possessing them. So it's like love and fear and possession as a perceptual reality kind of, kind of became intertwined at that time and the human beings have not been able to sort it out yet. So that affected everyone in some kind of a way that's not been healthy for us as human beings. So anyway, anything and all of these things that have happened to us through our generational evolution has been a learning experience, has been a part of our evolutionary experience. See, but I think that we're in the right time, <laughs> we're in the right place at the right time, even if we don't quite get it. Yeah, I don't think that we're here. There's a reason we're here. We're here at the time for us to be here. That's why us, the lives that we have lived that brought us to this place and that we will live when we leave this place. There's a reason that we're here. And part of it is, I know we're here at the right time and we're in the right place. It's just, how, how are we going to start perceiving reality? You know, and that's just really where it starts to, it starts to become more clear. Out of self-respect, we owe it to ourselves. Out of respect of self, we owe it to the selves of others. You know, to be, let's use our intelligence as intelligently as we can, as often as we can, right? It's not even saying all the time, but maybe we get there someday. To understand, you know, there are moments in our lives, there are times in our lives 
when coherency would probably be the best thing to do, <laughs> you know, before one deals with what's there in front of them. Because a part of the, what this confusion that I call with this pollution that's left over in our perceptional reality, see, has got to do is they don't want us to think. Okay, this is the deal. Whoever this miner is, <laughs> the way this thing works, they don't want us to think. I mean, I didn't really understand it. I knew this, but I didn't understand it. I knew this a long time ago, because at one point when I realized somewhere along the way that there was like these 17,000 pages of stuff on me, right? And I thought, hold it here, what did I do? You know, because I know what I did, <laughs> you know? So I knew this was, I know how I participated. And just once it sunk into me about all of this had been done around someone like me, right? And it made me think, well, I understand what they fear now. I mean, I know what they fear. I know their paranoia. Because sometimes I can be coherent. See, and they, they don't like that, right? They don't like it when I'm coherent in front of people because then we're coherent together. See, whether we agree with one or another or not isn't the point. They just don't want us to be coherent individually or together, right? Time out. <laughs> This is this is this is this is one of those we gotta we gotta we gotta like look at that again. And so that's really what I figured out. This is why they have to have people spying on people and they gotta do all because they don't want us thinking. They don't want us thinking. I mean, in the hypothetical <laughs> some kind of dream. Well, I don't even know if this is a dream. This, but if we all, if every human being woke up tomorrow morning and said, all right, I will not enable what I know to be the lie all day today, it would change. It could not function. If every human being got up tomorrow and said, I will not enable it, I will not participate in the lie today, it would change. See, but that's not going to happen in, the, in our lifetime, right? Well, I don't know. I should never say never. But I don't see it. <laughs> but anyway, about us being in the right place and in the right time, because in our place in the evolution, it's how we use our intelligence that says, because no one can control what's going to happen, even those in authority, they can't control it. They've got us intimidated and they've distorted our perceptional realities, all right, so that we don't see as clearly as we should. But no one can really control it. But what we can do and what we will do all right, is we will influence the evolution. We will influence if we use our intelligence as clearly and coherently as we can, as often as we can, then the evolutionary future will be more clear and coherent for us. If we use it pretending to think, but we're not really thinking because, you know, then that means the future, the evolutionary future will be unclear and unthinking. See, this is the participation. This is the, because this is the power relationship we have to reality. Just like an earthquake has, you know, an earthquake or a tornado. <coughs> Remember now, we are shapes of the earth. And we have consciousness and we have being, we have essence. So it's like we're drops of rain, you know, and enough drops of rain get together, you know, and you get a little, you can make a real storm. And the authoritarian system has to adjust to the storm. They can't find it or indict it again, <laughs> you know. When it snows, the next time you get shut in in Chicago, remember your relationship to power because you're a snowflake, right? And once we understand our relationship to power, then, then this other thing that is the wind, this other thing, right, it appears. Whether we, it works individually or collectively, but see, but we have to understand to use our intelligence because this is our create. And how good, how good are we at creating with our intelligence? And let's look at our own personal dark sides and the things that give us our fears and our doubts. This is how good we can use our creative ability. This is how effectively we could use it. Oh, let's see what this is. Well, I'd like to um, say I'm pleased to be here, and I'm really glad. Okay, let's quit with that. Let's take a look at Irma, because I've got uh, family and friends right in the path of it. Um, Michael Michael's in Fort Lauderdale. I'm not sure exactly where June Piston is. I have to think for a minute who's like 
Our, oh, well, Ocala. Got a bunch of family, rainbow family people in the Ocala area, Gainesville. I'm trying to think what trans folk are down there that I know. Um, but my Uncle Mike's in, like, Broward County. But he's inland. So he, you know, he doesn't have anything to worry about the storm surge, but flooding could be bad where he is. But he thrives on that shit. He's a sail whore. <laughs> um, this heck, let, we got to take a look at this real quick. Models post semi-naked pics in wake of Hurricane Irma. Oh. <laughs> Racy bikinis sending positive thoughts and good vibes to the islands right now. When they didn't show it. They're not even showing the picture. Oh, they're there. <laughs> Okay. Sorry we're not there with you getting pounded. <laughs> you're pounding your meat on this. <laughs> All righty. Um. <laughs> well, this is nice of her. Dana Ham, an Instagram model from Columbus, Ohio, posted a topless photo from her last trip to St. Martin and asked Hi, followers I'm to keep Heather the hours re and you're watching Fox News a residence in your, in your prayer. I grew up on the water. Uh, okay, I don't care. I don't want that. All right, no, we want we want the real news about Irma. Let's see what's cooking. Let's find the, the live. Let's see what let's see what this is about. Florida races to prepare ahead of her. Here's official updates. Evacuation immediate for Medley, Florida. From 36 minutes ago, hurricane warning for inland Collier County. I think that's like right down at the tip. Monroe was the keys. And then Dade Broward. So I think Collier is going to be over here. South of Miami, down down in here is Collier, I think. I'll have to check that. Uh, hurricane warning for Dade. Uh, let's see that. Uh, Miami Dade is from three hours ago from the National Weather Service. Homestead, Kendall Lakes, Country Walk, Redlands, Everglades National Park. Current is uh, Category 2. Peak wind forecast 90 to 100 miles an hour at 110 with gust to 140. Window is Saturday afternoon until Monday morning. Current set to life and property extreme. Yeah, that's just extreme. That's, this is the, the, no, no point in reading that. The rest of this. This is what we were looking for. Is what, are they, what are they facing and when's it going to hit? It's sometime between Saturday afternoon and Monday morning. And and my uncle's right in right in that path, uh, in Margate, Florida. And I better I better check and see where June is. They've got they've got two houses. One of them's on the coast, but it's boarded up. They got it shuttered. The hurricane windows are up and everything. And their other house is inland. Now where inland I don't know. I don't really know where either one of them is. Um, I, I don't know. Should be put some on. I, don't, I, I just don't spend enough time. This, this is the problem with having a lot of friends um, at Facebook is you end up not spending time, enough time looking at the profiles of the people that are interacting with you on your wall enough. So I don't even know where in the hell June Fishman is and she's one of my biggest fans. And she's right. She's right in the middle of. It. Let's see what she's saying. And I can't even say hello. Um. Well, three hours ago she posted a puppy.
puppy puppy video. Um, or no, somebody tagged her in a puppy video. Um, and she doesn't say exactly where she is. Um, okay, so she hasn't posted much in the last 24 hours. 19 hours, pretty much when she quit last, yesterday. And she hasn't been here this morning. And let's see what her last storm thing was. I shouldn't say anything about the storm in quite some time. Or she took it down, or I don't know. So she's going back to the 6th now. I haven't seen the thing she said about... Well, here it is. It was September 6th. Um... And that wasn't even her saying it. There was something that she posted on the, that she tagged me into on my wall. When's that from? 22 hours ago. No, but she's just talking about a movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's the one about the storm. That was from the fifth. Um, yeah, she's got one on the water. It's every, the water's. Already off cell, sandbags given to be given out in certain locations. What's a Carl Edie? This ought to be good for a few laughs. A lot of these have been wanting to connect with me and they're gone by the time I get to them. Yeah, there's nothing. I can't. Uh, <coughs> I can't even look at the profile. Nothing there. Probably because there isn't one. Probably because it already got it already got removed. Ginger's raising money for. Oh, she's down in there. Oh shit. Uh, her. She's in Houston. Oh gosh. That's what Big Pharma does to you. Sixty thousand dollars for medical bills. And they're in Houston. And I don't I, I don't know. Let's let's see how she's doing. That's the other I didn't I didn't realize that. I forgot she, you know, I got friends a bunch of friends in Texas. Uh, I forgot she's all the way down there. Um Jenny's not answering her text again. She hasn't posted since the third. Oh, that's right. She's been in the hospital the last five days, six days. Here's the last thing that's on her wall. Um, this interesting thing. I don't know what it's going to say either. Um, but it looks like it's interesting and should be said. This is from a friend of Ginger my, Nice. Uh, Ginger Ginger's my go-to girl when so, when 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 the. Uh, Bashing of uh, Christians gets, bashing of evangelicals gets too hard, and they 
stereotype too much that there are Christians like Ginger who are just wonderful people living living as best they understand what Jesus wanted to live. And here's a friend of hers named Cayman Sarton who was with John Hulan saying, let this sink in for a minute. Hundreds and hundreds of small boats pulled by countless pickups and SUVs from across the south are headed for Houston. Almost all of them driven by men. They're using their own property, sacrificing their own time, spending their own money, and risking their own lives for one reason. To help total strangers in desperate need. Most of them are by themselves. Most are dressed like redneck duck hunters and bass fishermen. They are. <laughs> Many are veterans. Most are wearing well-used gimme hats, t-shirts, and jeans, and there's a preponderance of camo. Most are probably gun owners, and most probably voted for Trump. Well, I don't know if I'm buying into that one. I bet the majority of them didn't vote at all. These are the people the left loves to hate, the ones Matt O'Mocks, and, and I, I, I assure you, hon, the left is mobilizing too. I don't think I'm going to give that the time of day. That's just divisive shit. <coughs> you know, excuse me, the hippies have had, well, I don't even know what you call it hippies, but certainly it was rainbow family oriented response to Katrina and and to uh, to Sandy. Um, there was some family at Hugo, but we were plugged into other things that, you know, they didn't want us anywhere in those small towns from uh, from Myrtle Beach on down to Charleston. And then when we got to Charleston, we just plugged in at the hotel, and that was that. And there were a fair number of people from, you know, that were like traveling, traveling crafts people and trades people that I knew from the Rainbow family that you know people had traveled around doing different different kinds of commercial stuff and then doing gatherings you know the, the annual in July and then their home regions ones wherever it was and whatever and you know some shit happens well we bring the mobile kitchen to that and I just happened to be there right in position when you you go hit hit South Carolina and, and I've, I've helped out from my desk ever since at the other things, and it's not just hurricanes that happen. It could be all kinds of uh, smaller um, crises that uh, family attends to from place to place. People, a, lot of, a lot of people need help relocating. Um, this is a real common one. Um, and, and there's just folks that are out there giving food away. <laughs> you know, that's what they do. It's like, we're a, here's our boss, here's our kids, and then eat with us. Okay, what am I doing? That's right. We're getting news for Ari to put on my wall. Yeah, minor lizards can be tough to get out of the house. <laughs> Uh huh. Stuck in a wall. <laughs> Today is literacy day. <laughs> no, no, I didn't even got it. Oh, well, this is uh, Bill Clinton talking about Hurricane Harvey. They got yeah the, the five the five living the five living ex presidents got something going. Friends Here, in let's Texas. play this bitch. Let's see, I haven't played it yet. Hurricane Harvey brought terrible destruction, but it also brought out the best in humanity. As former presidents, we wanted to help our fellow Americans begin to recover. Our friends in Texas, including President Bush, 41 and 43, are doing just that. People are hurting down here, but as one Texan put it, we've got more love in Texas than water. We love you, Texas. Donate to OneAmericaAppeal.org. We are all in this together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I 
I'm gonna, we should probably check out one that we, we should probably check that out and see where the money's going and how you know how it's getting to the to the disaster area. Oh, looks like I got fresh messages. I have to start paying attention to my phone now too because I, I I got I got people that are talking to me um, by uh, I have people that are talking to me by uh, text that's time sensitive. Uh, cut, cut, cut. Bam, down here. And that's about we're gonna we're gonna do the flea market Saturday. I hate having it doing this. I see the likes of this use the phone all the time. She likes she she's got I don't like the texting at all. Let's see what these idiots want from me this time, as long as we're here. Oh geez, I'm gonna have to read that shit later. <laughs> Let's fucking add it again. Oh no, I don't. That's stupid shit. Just more stupid shit. Okay, back to Hurricane Irma. Find something for, uh, I wanted to plant Hurricane Monroe County, Broward. Uh, basically, they got it for everybody. Get the latest information. Well, it's serious. Oh, shit. Oh, and there's another one coming behind it. Nice. What's that? We got a tropical storm. Um, I mean, right behind it. And there's one down in the Gulf right now too. Oh. Let's see if this got any description. Where's where's the three? Does it have a name? So coming right in behind it, right across the same islands. Oh yay! Oh, look at that shit. And it's not. It's it's a pretty good sized one too. And then there's one over in the in, in the corner of the Gulf. Underneath where Harvey hit. Oh, back out. Over here. Oh, come on, back out. Back out.
to her Harvey sitting right on top of Cuba. Oh boy, they're probably getting blasted. Where's the fourth one? Zero, five, three, oh. Um, well, that's one, three of them right in a row. Blam, blam, blam. But hey, don't worry about climate change. Uh, we want this. Okay, we didn't get the one about the tribal people. What happened to the tribal people? I'm going to copy that one. Yeah, I never clicked that link. And it affected the perceptual reality of the human. Okay, let's pop this to her. Oh, I'm a weak, frail, garbage-eating drug addict. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, I, I, you know, the real, the real world is not the internet. I don't have time for that shit right now. Well, let's look at this. Yeah, this is, this is good.
So we got a uh, record supervisor on the case now. Uh, this, uh, and, um,
Yes, good afternoon. Um, my name is Thomas Wasserberg, and I was referred to you by an online service. Um, and, it, and it's really a, um, a matter that's outside you know, the, the actual thing I need representation for is not a criminal issue. It's a, a, a defamation problem. And I just need an answer from a criminal attorney about whether it's actually possible to prosecute me for an alleged statutory rape 35 years ago in California if they don't even know the name of the alleged victim. Hmm. Yes, I'm sorry, I don't have an attorney available today, um, you know, to, to answer that uh -huh. for you. Um, if you get to take that on Monday. Well, um, you know, the note I got was that uh, they just, they referred my, you know, I, I signed up for the help on uh, online and they referred me to several attorneys and they said that you guys would get back to me within a couple of days with an answer. Um, and and they, gave, they gave me the, the name of like a couple, three different attorneys. So, and I, I, I was just calling because there are some pressing you know, it's it's a it's a it's it's a, I need to I need to like either address the possibility up front before it happens or forget about it because it can't happen, and I need to know that as right. soon as possible. Right. You probably would be better served to contact an attorney uh, out of California. Right. Well, this is what they gave me from the online services, and I, I called an attorney in California. I don't, I don't remember exactly what, what it was. I called a few people in California. Uh, all I know is all I know is they can't possibly do anything in Arizona, and in California they possibly can. Um, and and you know my my defense is that the young lady had been making her own decisions since she was nine years old, and she was almost sixteen at the time. And was considered by the community to be uh, one of the adults, um, and that. But but from my research on that, uh, the ruling could go either way on a case to case basis. You know, it's 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 hard to like. There's no standard on on whether they'll rule. You know, it's an individual thing. You know, what what they look. At. And again, that comes back to well, they don't know who it was. Uh -huh. So that, that's what I need a real lawyer to get an opinion on it. So that I can either like, okay, let's deal with this or just forget about it because we're a bunch of idiots. Right, but my lawyers can't tell you anything about California law. Right, right. I probably have to just call somebody in California. Can you, can you, uh, right. can you refer me to any California attorneys? No, I'm sorry. I don't know of any. Okay, well, thank you for your time, ma'am. Happy day. Bye-bye. Yeah, that's where it's at. It's like, it can go either way. I mean, you know, that my contention is that she was plenty mature to make her own decision. Um, and, it, it, you know, there is case law there, but it's on an individual basis. Um, and, and, you know, from different kinds of circumstance to different kinds of circumstance are, are, are looked at differently. Um, you know, it's just, you know, what, what, is, what kind of a decision is the minor making? Is, is, is the, what, the, what the court's considering, and I haven't found anything yet that uh, said one way or the other about rulings on uh, assertions like I'm making. Well, it's all other things that, that, they're, that they're adjudicating that uh, the samples I found we're talking about. Um, so as long as we're on the subject of this, might as well go take a look at the assholes, see what they're up to, and then cut this off because I got other things I need to do, and it's probably been going on for plenty long. Let's see. Yeah, see, this is what I need to be doing right here is going through these photos and see what needs to be uploaded and see what needs to be discarded. So a lot of it's like stuff that's been sitting in the camera for a long time. 
And while I'm at it, I need to erase the camera. Oh, I, I unplugged the camera. Shit. It's the, the whole fucking um, memory's full on this thing. Good, no new pictures. Goodbye. Goodbye. Select all. Delete all. Yes. Wish. Let's see what's available on, on the disk now. That's much better. <laughs> there was only a couple hundred megabytes left a minute ago. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, that's 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 an important task out of the way. Um, so I don't have to worry about putting a bigger card in there. I probably should though, because it's only 10 gigabytes, and videos and pictures fill them up fast. That that, that I got a quarter terabyte in the other in the in the big. I probably should switch them. No, I don't know. I don't know. I probably should just get another quarter terabyte card. Um, we need to pee. Be right back. Make sure it's pointed at the camera. I don't know what right now. Here, send this stuff to Ariana. Oh yeah, this. <laughs> okay, toll free. Okay, we need to get a proof of. Uh, What area is I can do that online? I need to find my benefit statement. Okay. So security proof of benefits. Wonder if the uh, that would work.
Tax student or something. Looks like I've got this segment. Yup. Here we go. The the <laughs> burner phone. Here we come. Time for me to. Create a fake identity. 
I need a, I need a, I need a burner phone to be able to make another uh, thing at face face crook. Well, let me make a new account with a new phone number. <laughs> Charged, I think. Boys fast. Okay, noise fest. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check and see what that is. It's, Tucson's such a fun town. Um, and and the, the the it's too hot or too nice to be anything but laid back in this town. You you can't you can't get you can't get too excited when it's a hundred and something awful outside. It's just it, it takes too much energy to keep yourself cool. Um, and, and, I, and I don't mean like emotionally cool. I mean like keep your body cool so that things don't shut down on you. Um, it's it's real easy to heat stroke uh, in this town. So people just don't even like us exert themselves in the hot sun. That's what happens. You won't see anybody on Fourth Avenue most of the, all, all summer long. A lot of parts of Arizona they just go away. They leave. Shut their stores down. Quartzsite shut down until October. There's nothing happening there except the truck stops. Um, okay, what are we doing? Scan. I probably should pin the scanner to the to the taskbar too, shouldn't I? Um, where's the scan for? Where's the, is there is there scan on the? Okay, well we have uh, we have the printer. I don't have to use Windows Scan for this. Um, okay, we can forget about that. That's still running. It's an hour and a half, and I hope you're bored as fuck. Because <laughs> this is just raw. As this is raw diary. If you're wondering what these are all about, it's raw fucking diary. And eventually I'll go back in there and grab the readings or something like that. Um, otherwise, it's raw fucking diary. And, you know, go ahead and make 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 all sorts of ridiculous uh, diagnoses based on what I say because like you don't know you have no idea and you're and you certainly you got cognitive difficulties comprehensive difficulties because you're not understanding what I'm saying and and you're misinterpreting my words putting a lot of words in your own, you're projecting uh, you're projecting your own perversions into my into my words and, and I don't got none of that shit on my mind some of the things that you people think I'm about are like, what? I mean, like this 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 virtual pet uh, pedophile thing. It's like, what? Come on. <laughs> because because I refuse, I refuse to show any remorse for what happened all those years ago. Because I don't feel there was anything to be feel ashamed of or remorseful about. And I think it's uh, the burden of proof is on you. Uh, to prove that all these things that you're asserting based on my story and, and my refusal to be remorseful about it, uh, I think the burden of proof is on you on that one, kids. Certainly, uh, uh, it's, it's becoming pretty clear that unless you know who the victim is, you're like wasting your time trying to get me prosecuted for it. You need to go turn the victim out.
<laughs> you gotta make sure she's gonna actually complain. <laughs> Especially 40 or 35 years later. <laughs> oh, I ruined her life. <laughs> because some of the shit these idiots say, assume happened because because of that. It's just it's just nuts. It's just nuts. That that I had posted something. I, I posted a letter earlier at I am GUR. I'm not sure how you're supposed to say that. Uh, I posted a letter earlier there, and uh, the from my from my doctor. And immediately three or four people jump up and say, oh, you shouldn't have this here, and blah, 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 patrols. So I ain't worried about them. I'm worried more about the people who might be influenced by them. And I don't care. I mean, I'll, my, my name, address, and phone number are out there, and Tommy Tudor is a uh, known, known alias. That's how we roll. Separates the real people from the phonies. Nobody's got the nerve to call. Except that Izzy character. I don't think he's going to be calling anymore. Now he knows I'm recording every time he does. I think it's time for me to smoke a hooter. I got a lot done this morning. In spite of wasting too much time with the fools. Because I have the extra time to waste with the fools. Because I, you know, I'm, I'm blocked at Facebook, and I don't really have anything going at Twitter much more than grabbing shit to use at Facebook. Probably should go take a look at thoughts and see if there's anything worth the fuck talking about there. <laughs> Usually not. I got you know a small handful of friends that once in a while they say something. Uh, they post something I want to respond to, and once in a while I post something they want to respond to, and that's it at thoughts. She wants printing. Hello, print scan. We need a scan. But it's just so nice uh, to be able to do this. Save as what do we want to save it as? A, I think we do it as a JPEG. For posting in a folder and not an email. Oh, we don't need to do that. Just scan it. While that's scanning, we go to uh, Q-Link. Wireless.com. Sign up. Ship your free phone. That's all filled out. We look that face like it's in the OK button. Next step.
copy the copy the post to do the okay, not a problem. Upload proof. Upload file. Now we just gotta find the file. Off probably should cancel that. Let's find the file first. <laughs> Is it, okay, here it is. Save. Oh shit, where's it gonna say? Oh good. Oh, we don't want to save it there. Uh oh. Oh shit. Where'd all that go? Son of a bitch. Just move that all somewhere. Let's put it with the captures. Here's statement of benefits. That works. Wham. Done deal. Yippee. Yippee. There's my burner. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Okay. What else do we need to do? Oh, port site. Pow wow. There's a phone number for these guys. I know they got a phone number about us. Sandy Andreessen. I've heard of her. Where? Oh, Mark Andreessen. Yeah, this 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 would be busy shit posting all day. Fucking idiots. This is me taking care of business. 
Oh, and I need to get with somebody in Tucson about listing in, in, in the show guide. We need we need a page. We need something in the show guide. Find out how to get that in there. So I should do that right now too. As long as I have a camera running, showing proof that I do so other things besides fucking around with these idiots all day long. Because they got the the cops convinced I don't do anything but that. Oh, oh shit. The answer to that. Happy summer or happy November when you pick up your messages. Rock and roll. Hope to see you in January. So let's just, without even slowing down, it's an in motion hosting. Thank you. In motion hosting, I'm not even sure what I sent them. Um, thank you for contacting In Motion Hosting Legal Department with your concern regarding unauthorized use of copyrighted materials. We have the utmost respect for the individual artists and entities that author these works and take this matter very seriously. A notify of copyright, trademark, or DMCA infringement complaint has been sent to the offending party, allowing 24 hours for the intending offending materials to be removed before suspension of the account in question. The notice was sent regarding the message board thread. Unfortunately, Kiwi Farms is not on our server, so we would be unable to help with that site. If you have, oh, um, oh, that's that's that uh, buzz, uh, the the Michigan thing. Huh. Okay. Well, before we get before we get diverted, we need to powwow. at uh, QIA Arizona spelled out dot org
get my points that I'm look at. We want to look for it up there. We want to look for it down here. What a five star rating. You'd be. Well, 30 people have been here. You'd be. Back to that before I get distracted. <laughs> Okay, that's done. I don't need to fuck around with that. And let's see, I never did read this Finkelstein thing. See what's going on with that. And then I think, I, yeah, fuck them. I don't care. These are my diaries. And it's also evidence for the court that you people are out of your fucking minds as to what I do with my time. Um, well, that's going to undermine a lot of your defense. You know. <laughs> They got, they got Winston and them convinced I'm harassing them. <laughs> um, they're making up shit about me and spreading it all over the web. I just inhaled a piece of pot down my throat. <laughs> Got it back. Big piece. <laughs> Almost big enough to choke on. <coughs> okay. Um, oh, well, this should probably be up higher. <laughs> Let's, okay, let's put it, let's just get it up. It's looking at too low. It's going to look in the gap. It's a little better. We're going to look at the taskbar. I don't know we up kind of That's okay. I don't care. Because like I said, this is just raw video diary. And it's mine. I have the source files. So whatever the fuck you think you want to... You, you see all that? This is mine. This, this shit belongs to me. Um... These haven't even been uploaded yet, right here. Some of them will never get uploaded. <laughs> I don't want to pick my nose in. <laughs> and, and there have been a couple of them that I, I did I did I did expose my weenie walking around that I had to not upload. Um eventually I'll get around to, to editing them. I don't care. You know, I, I need an editor. Um I probably ought to call these guys on the toll free line because they didn't answer the. Let's see if they pick up the toll free line.
answering that either. Hi, Cyril. This is Tommy Tudor calling. Um, I wanted to touch base with you about like what Real Things is about to be doing. Uh, one thing we need to do that we're going to be doing right away is like putting it on paper and uh, you know actually registering everything because we need to get business licenses and trademarks and stuff um, to be able to do any of the big shows. Uh, we will be. Uh, we're tentatively going to be doing Tyson Wells and uh, the powwow in Quartzsite, and then we want to do something big here. Um, and I've got a lot of wall space, empty wall here. I got a lot of blank wall around here. Um, so I was wondering, like, what you guys were about with that, and want to, you know, if you want to, you know, if you're ready to like get out of your estate sales and start becoming like full time, more, more, more full time artists. Um, I'd love to be the one to plug you into the to, into the circuit. Um, you're, you're, you're top quality work, and it's going to sell well as long as you're not too proud of it. You know, as long as you've got stuff that's you know fifty dollars, twenty to fifty dollars, um, people is going for both of you. Twenty to fifty bucks, your stuff is going to fly off the tables. So looking forward to hearing from you. Happy day. Bye. With the message, press one. To listen to leave the number from which you are calling, press pound. To leave a number, call back number. <coughs> Phone number five two zero two four one two seven seven six. If the number is correct, press one. To re enter the number, press two. To send your message with normal delivery, press one. To send the message with Thank you. Your message has been sent. Goodbye. That's two hours of that <laughs> for them to suffer through, steal shit from, and uh, you know, here's here's let's oh let's let's let, let let's give them let's give them some shit they have to listen to and find at the end. Um, you know, respond to some of their bullshit like at the end. Let's let's give them, let's give them a few minutes of crap here. Um, over at, uh, at, 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 uh, Skype, Bojangles and Glarius are, uh, this is the 220-nothing boys that are going to hate on me. I'm old enough to be your grandmother, you little douchebags. Um, and, uh, I don't want to meet you. I don't want to break bread with you as far as I'm concerned. You're an alien creature, and I can't wait until you're off the planet. Okay, powwow office closed for the summer. We know that. Okay. So she's, she's directing us to the... Let's, where's your map, baby? Let's see the map. Where's the map? Site map. Pal well. Home, volunteers, calendar, activities, grand opening. Pal well show. Check out the map at the Pow Wow tab on our website. Okay. Pow Wow Show. Okay, here we go. And how much? Yeah, traffic comes in through here, right here, in through here, 
and this is the indoor shoal. Um, well, it took about a 75 percent. Problem. I don't see where it says how much it is though. I don't see the rate. That's that. Um, I'm not going to say these guys. Let's see if uh, they would close that. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. Here's a, here's a, I'm pretty much done with that for a moment.
Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go take a let's take a quick cruise through the idiots, through idiot land. Let's see if I've I, I've made number one yet. Fall off fast when I don't say anything to them here. This is all on Sneasel to keep them interested. If I'm not saying anything. Yeah, see, I'm falling off fast. Um. I got some new ones. I've never even heard of her. Yeah, here's uh, some. This anonymous flux thing. I understand hippie culture more than the man who was literally forced out of hippie culture, and he doesn't even know how to spell hippie. H i p p y is not how you spell hippie. And you just look at what the Rainbow Family did to his sorry ass. You're looking at what you're looking at a deteriorated Rainbow Family, and I'm still connected very strongly to the first generation family. These are these are these are Rainbows and Rain Boneheads you're talking about. Um, good, you got ten, ten, uh, ten minutes of laughter out of the water. This is this is all uh, this is all uh, um, what's it called unwanted. Um, uh, this is an even oh, this is an idiot that I usually add. Let's just block this one. This is an idiot. Um, yeah, my disease-riddled lungs. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I can't block the idiots when I'm not logged in. That's right. That's, he's he's already blocked. That's somebody I don't even usually look at. He's just a fool. Um, my disease riddled lungs. It's not, I don't have disease. I have a chronic cough because of allergies. Um, it's all about it's all about my esophagus and my my my, my larynx and all that and clearing and sinuses and shit, keeping it clear. Um, this is, that's a healthy cough. That's that's healthy lungs working on problems in the upper respiratory is what you hear. And I don't care what you think. But that's what my doctor says. My you know, my heart and my blood pressure and all that are real good. Um, so these people are a waste of time, as usual. Bye. Um, and uh, these guys are a total waste of time too. And now they've done something now I gotta wait for the uh, um, oh, they got a new joke. I bet this is this is probably some redundant shit, and, and it's probably something I'm gonna have to take somebody off to ignore to read. So I won't. I, you know, it's not that important to me. Um, you know, shit posting on shit heads. Um, <laughs> it's like one of the least one of the least rewarding things that I do on the internet. Um, you know, I, I mean, it's fine that that these people want to scream and holler and. Uh, all that you know, I posted something this morning, and one of the one of the, one of the responders, you know, this is the internet. Everybody, you know, they're all trolls, and they call each other tro trolls and retards and all that stuff, and pedophiles and all that. And then all this, you know, they, they all have a reputation for just like making shit up. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to build a business, on, and based on trust, um, and you know, alternatives that, uh, and and I don't, I don't I don't need to be like defamed. So let's see what the new joke is. Yeah. <laughs> this is Madeira. So let's let's go to the defamation law. Here it is. Elements of libel and slander.
here's her her uh, this is this is Tom Tom Madera or his uh, competitor one or the other this is Tom Madera or his competition I haven't I haven't been able to determine which yet because you know, this is part of the lies you know the veil of lies that they tell his joke is a teenager and her dog walk into a bar luckily the bartender had already thrown Tommy out for sharding on the bar stools no one was fingered that day ha 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 but this is a communication that suggests that the plaintiff was involved in a serious crime involving moral turpitude or a felony it's also a communication that exposes a plaintiff to ridicule it is a communication that reflects negatively on the plaintiff's character morality or integrity and it is a computer well i can't prove that uh, financial well-being but it doesn't matter four out of five ain't bad uh, okay who's this Hello. Yes, hello. Um, this is Olivia from a Real Health Center. Might speak with Tommy. Yes, that's me, please. Oh shit! Hi. I was supposed uh, to have an appointment today. No, no car ever came. Yeah, that's the reason I'm calling just to uh, remind you of your appointment. It's actually at two. Oh good. Um, with the, uh, with Amanda. Oh good. I mean. Yeah. I really shouldn't take the time because I should be doing other things, but it's like, uh, of all things that I, I really need, we need, really need to start this. I, I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm too busy, you know, I mean, I just, I just remembered, and I, I just realized, well, wait a minute, where's the car been? Um, okay, so I can, ex I should be, if it's, if the appointment's at two, the car is going to be here any minute. Well, let's see, did you set up transportation already? Leticia um, said she was you... going to. Who, who was, I'm sorry? I think her name is Nikisa, my case okay. manager. Yes, that, so um, the reason she gave me your information is to make sure that you were going to come in. But I'll go ahead and set up transportation for you. I'll call it in right now. Um, and then also the drive back, okay? Okay. So, okay, so I'll give you a call back with um, the confirmation. And then um, we'll go from there. I probably should get my ass in gear then and get... Uh, dressed. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm just sitting here in a t-shirt this morning, and it's not even morning anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, she kind of gave you a car in the morning. Um, well, the I seem to have my phone. Again. My phone somehow manages to, to all on its own. I hate these things. It calls people. I don't, you know, just calls people all on its own. Install stuff. I mean, there's it, it, it installed an app on my desktop without me even asking for it. Um, and, and now I, I'm discovering that the phone is ringing and I can't hear it. I've missed several calls with me sitting with the phone right at my desk in the last 24 hours. So now i got to go into the settings and see why it's not making noise when it rings. Okay. This is... This is correct, yes, sir. Okay, I'll check my settings in the meanwhile, make sure I, it, the phone makes noise. Okay, okay bye bye. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Why am I not hearing the phone ring? I really hate this thing. It, 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 it uh,. It calls, it, it calls people all on its own, if it's just riding around in my, I mean, I, I didn't believe to do it if it's just riding in something other than my pocket. It doesn't even, yeah, it, it's not even just pocket dialing. Sounds, why the, how did I get it from fucking ring to vibrate? I don't know how it does this. And, 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 and. And it needs to be on, but it, it was on ring to vibrate, and it wasn't even vibrate on vibrate while ringing. Let's change the tone. I don't think so.
I like that one. The music's, the music's annoying. Okay. Yeah, that was my, uh, that was the clinic calling, making sure I was ready to do, uh, uh, Hello. 
Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi, uh, this is Tasso with How are you? I'm fine, but I don't have any time for this right now. Um, I'm sorry. Um, we'll uh, we'll be we'll be signing up on the site soon. I have somebody with wheels that can get we can get around on. Uh, can two of us can 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 we do two people at one time? Or is it only one, you know, can two of us go at one time as two separate shoppers? Hello? Uh, I'm asking, can two of us go together as two separate shoppers, or is it only one shop at a time, and it doesn't matter how many people I bring with me? Got you. Okay, thank you. Well, we'll we'll sign up online. Thank you. It's hardly worth the time. You get ten bucks and uh, up to ten bucks you can spend. Um, and and this is all I have to say to any of these accusations anymore. You need to prove it in court. At this point, I'm through defending it to people that don't even know how to understand what I've said. I'm through to. Uh, 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 Um, and all of this is like, uh, I'm, I'm through to someone who, who is like, you know, hell bent on defaming me no matter what the truth actually is. So fuck you, Sneasel. Uh, I have nothing to say to you except good luck when I catch up to you. You are not going to walk away in the same state of mind toward me and toward all of society as you have today once I catch up to you. This is a promise. Pray that there hasn't been a landing yet. All the bets are off once there's a landing because I don't know what's going to happen with my ROE once I've had the right tools to uh, eradicate you people. And, and I don't know how, you know, how much of eradication is I'm going to, you know, I ain't going to, I ain't going to touch your flesh. But I will totally destroy your 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 internet presence once once the mothership uh, comes and gets me. You don't know what you're messing with. Go go Google T caps. That's okay. Go Google T caps, fools. I I'm, this is a waste of time too. It's like fuck that. That's all I have to say to them. Prove it in a court of law. Again, prove it in a court of law. I'm through discussing this on on troll sites. Uh, if you want to take your chances on doing it in public, go for it. But at, I'm still, I've said what I'm going to say on all of these accusations. It's all shit that's in my past. It has absolutely no bearing on my present. And I will not allow it to in, infringe on my future. This is going to stop before the end of the year. This is a promise. I'm going to do something before the end of the year that is going to make a big difference in the status quo uh, in the way that uh, my anti-fan club is able to abuse my media. I don't give a fuck what you say about me, but pay for the use of my media, motherfuckers. I could give a shit less what your opinion is about me. You're, you're, you're walking dead people. You know, you've been, you've been trained to, 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 for your, that, that delusion of intellect that you have to overrule your instinct, which is where the truth lies. So at 2 minutes and 30 seconds and, or 30 minutes and 22, 3, 4, 5 seconds, 